So if you've installed a uh, automatic bed leveling system on your 3D printer, um, you probably did that because you want your prints to be absolutely perfect and um, an ABL creates a mesh and uh, it compensates for any uh, any kind of irregularities in the bed and and that's great it works really well and uh, if you look at YouTube videos uh, showing how to install uh, an automatic bed leveling system uh, typically they say that you know you need to change the um, slicer and add some G code um, in the start G code section uh, specifically the G29 uh, command which basically tells uh, the printer to run the automatic bed leveling system and create a mesh and and that's all correct you do need to do this and um, uh, typically you need to put this G29 command after the G28 command however um, I haven't found a lot of YouTube videos that talk about some other commands that should be put in the start uh, G code command section of the slicer specifically commands that will prevent the nozzle from oozing filament while the mesh is being created so what happens typically is that the bed heats to its print temperature and then the nozzle heats to its print temperature and then the ABL does the mesh and of course when the nozzle heats to its print temperature it starts to ooze filament and that filament uh, gets all over the bed and it may actually impact um, how the mesh is done it may not be as as good as it should be and it may affect your prints so there are a couple of commands that you can add to the start G code section of your slicer that will actually prevent the nozzle from oozing uh, filament so if you installed an ABL system on your 3d printer and you want to avoid filament from oozing while the ABL is being calibrated and the mesh is being created I'll show you how to do that uh, with a very few commands in your start G code so stay tuned and I'll be right back all right so the first thing that we need to do is open up the printer settings and make some changes to the default uh, printer startup G code. So we go to printer, manage printers, and then we open up machine settings and we basically do everything we need to do in the start G code section. So what I have here is the default Ender 3 or Ender 3 um, Pro uh, G code uh, the start G code and um, we'll need to make a couple of changes here now typically when you install an ABL uh, what happens is that you put the G29 command right after the G28 command and the G29 command tells the printer to do uh, a mesh to uh, run the automatic bed leveling and create a mesh now we don't want to put the G29 command here uh, we're gonna put a couple of other commands before we insert the G29 command so I'm just gonna make some space here for the new commands and um, we'll start by adding the M104 command so um, just put the command here and the command is going to be M104 S40 and what this does is set the extruder temperature 
So rather than using the temperature that you've put into Cura for the object that you're going to print, the um, temperature is going to up, go up to 140 degrees. So the M104 command sets the extruder temperature. And you can set it um, at any temperature you want. I just uh, chose 140 degrees. The only proviso, of course, is that you set it um, at something that is um, lower than the melting temperature of your filament. All right, so after that command, there are two commands that you need to put in, the M140 and the M190, and we're going to just put that in after uh, the M104 command. So the M140 command will uh, set the uh, bed temperature, and the M190 command basically uh, tells the printer to wait until the bed temperature is set and not do anything until that temperature is set. And uh, this little variable here, material underscore bed temperature underscore layer underscore zero, uh, is basically telling the printer to use whatever temperature is set in the slicer. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is um, put in the G29 command. And we're going to do that uh, right above uh, these two lines here. So let's just make a bit of a space here. And I'm just going to put in the G29 command um, right above here. So the G29 command will initiate uh, the bed leveling. And it doesn't matter whether you have a CR touch or a BL touch. I happen to have a CR touch. Um, basically, what you want to have happen is that once the temperature goes up to 140 degrees for the nozzle and whatever the print temperature is for the bed, um, once that's reached, the printer will initiate uh, bed leveling and uh, it will create a mesh. And once the mesh is done, the printer will move to the start position. Once the printer moves to the start position, we're going to have the printer go up to the proper printing temperature. So we're going to put that uh, right over here, right under here, we'll put in uh, the M104 command and the M109 command. And the M104 command sets the extruder temperature. And at this point, we're going to set it to whatever temperature we put in the slicer. So this is what this variable um, basically tells the printer. Uh, raise the temperature of the extruder to whatever the temperature is uh, in the slicer for printing. And then the M109 command uh, tells uh, the printer to wait for the extruder temperature to rise before starting the print. And once that's done, uh, the print will start. So that's all there is to it. Um, once you've got everything here, um, you will no longer have uh, filament oozing out of your uh, nozzle because the nozzle will not reach the print temperature um, where the plastic will be oozing. It'll only reach 140 degrees when the bed leveling is done. And then once the bed leveling is done, then it will go up to the print temperature. The extruder will rise to the print temperature. All right, so now that we have everything configured in the start G code of the slicer, I'm going to send a calibration cube to the printer to see how it works. So the first thing that happens is that the bed and nozzle temperatures go up. The bed will heat to 60 degrees, which is the temperature set in the slicer, 
but the nozzle temperature will only go up to 140 degrees as per our instructions in the start G code. This temperature, of course, is below the melting point of the filament, which will prevent any oozing from occurring. Once the nozzle and bed have reached these temperatures, the automatic bed leveling is initiated and the ABL generates a mesh. When the mesh is completed, the nozzle moves to the start position and then the nozzle temperature goes up to whatever the print temperature is set to in the slicer. For this particular print, I set it to 200 degrees. Once the nozzle temperature is reached, the print starts. So hopefully, this is helpful. I've made the G-code that you need to insert in the Start G-code section of your slicer, available in the description below. Now, if your printer came with an ABL, there is a good chance that the G-code is already there. This tip is for people who have installed an ABL on a printer and who are experiencing issues with filament oozing before the mesh is created. And that's it. Now, before you go, I'm going to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell for information about when I'll be releasing new videos. Subscribing to the channel is really helpful with the YouTube algorithm and I would really appreciate it. So until next time, take care and happy 3D printing. Bye-bye.